Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. This time, I'm going to not do a walkthrough on a mission, but I'm going to do another airport walkthrough. I have done them in the past, and most recently, I did an Easter Bay walkthrough, well, a couple months ago, probably. And this one is going to be a walkthrough of Las Venturas Airport because now CJ has his pilot's license. He can enter in any airport and drive around. So I'm going to get on with this tour and show you some interesting things. And there's one secret that is in Las Venturas Airport that I'm going to show you and it's a lot of fun. The best place to start at Las Venturas Airport is at the beginning. So I'm going to drive CJ over to the beginning here and show you the entrance, which CJ can drive through because he has a pilot's license. And then over here is a hangar with an entrance circle. That triggers a mission, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to drive around these crates. There's the back wall. Then there is another hangar here. But once you drive toward the end of the airport here, is just more walls. And then over here is small airplanes and a uh, horseshoe, which I'll get to that in another mission. Then I'm going to have a little fun here. There's some shamalas or whatever they call those Lear type jets. And then there's smaller airplanes here, single seaters. There's two hangers here. In this one, the second one is body armor. If you need to replenish your body armor, this is a great place to go. And it's not too far away from uh, uh, the Four Dragons Casino in a way. Then there's this area with cars and then another small airplane. Then there's this giant hangar right here. And yes, this is the secret of Las Venturas Airport. Once you run out, the hangar door starts opening. And right here in the southeast corner of Las Venturas Airport is this giant hangar. And if you run away, you'll end up triggering the door to close, but I want to give you a good view here of, yes, a full-size jetliner. Now, the door is triggered to close again, and we're going to have to wait until it opens again. I'm going to fast forward through the door closing and opening to get to the airplane. Once the door is open, CJ can jump in, run up this ramp, and enter a major jetliner, and pilot the plane, which is what I'm going to do now. Now, piloting a full-scale jetliner is not like piloting an airplane, even the business jet or some of the larger airplanes. You got to be a little ginger with the controls on this. And once you get it onto the runway, you can just gun it. And actually, this thing surprisingly climbs fairly quickly. And so I'm going to take this jetliner up and do a little flying. And then, well, maybe abandon it.
flying the jetliner, you want to use the left button and right button rather than the joystick to control it because it tends to react a little quickly. I'm hoping I'm not flying over the Air Force Base and getting shot down. No, I'm not, but I'm threading the needle here. You use the joystick to climb and then the left button and right button to maneuver the airline and once you level off you really don't get to see a lot it's this is kind of a little weakness in the GTA San Andreas on a more modern higher resolution TV is it's not building quick enough and so I'm kind of looking at the map in the lower left to get an idea of where I am located and I'm heading west so I'm north of San Fierro and so I'm going to bring the plane in and around to get it over San Fierro or at least the edge of San Fierro here and what I'm going to do is kind of abandon it. Now I'm on the outskirts of San Fierro. I'm going to get it pointed out to the ocean, and CJ's going to jump out and parachute down. The reason I've sent it out over the ocean is if I sent it over the city, police would actually come for me, or come for CJ, should I say. And once CJ is nice and landed on the ground, I'm going to bring him back to the garage and uh, save. But I won't be showing you that because, yeah, it's just boring. Now, if you like this type of video, hit the like button. If you really like this type of video, hit the subscribe button. I post every Sunday and Wednesday on this channel with these types of videos, mainly walkthroughs of the missions. and. Hey, subscribing costs you nothing. All it does is pop my videos into your feed. And that's the best way you can help this channel is subscribe. And it shows YouTube this channel is worth watching. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.